Hey guys, we have this badge holder and as you can see the string that connects the badge holder to the uh, real clip, that string has broken off. So uh, in this video I want to show you how to fix this. So how to reattach the string that's inside of the real, real clip, how to reattach that to the badge holder. So the only tool we're going to use here is a simple pocket knife and the first thing is we're going to remove this uh, metal clip part from the real housing. I'm just going to uh, pry that off. It's relatively easy. Just have to uh, loosen this a little bit and then you can squeeze off the housing here. Just squeeze it out. Now since we bent the clip a little bit I'm going to move this back here. I'm going to bend this backward back to where it was. So now we have here the housing and this we can open up also very easily. You can see this are like two uh, pieces of plastic. And then there's even here a little hole on the one end that we can put the uh, tool inside of and then basically pry the two parts apart. And then inside of there we find the uh, string together with that reel. So it's like a metal spring inside for the tensioner. And now you just see this little uh, metal piece here that fell off. It's just like a little guard uh, that's connected or that's part of the uh, housing. And then here we have the end of the string and you can see this simply broke off right at the end by the badge. You can see still here this little uh, leftover still sitting in there. So next thing we have to do is reattach the string to the badge holder. And the uh, first part is here to remove the uh, existing uh, leftover piece of string that's still in there in this little uh, black plastic piece. So first we have to remove this plastic piece by prying open that little holder here. Take this out. And then you can see here at the at this little hole there's the leftover string. So we're going to take this out and then throw this away. We can't use this anymore. And now we can feed the uh, original string here through that plastic piece. First, we're going to put it through this little metal piece that is part of the, uh, the housing. So we're going to use this later. You don't want to forget this at this point. And then we can feed it into this little black plastic piece right from this end. And it goes all the way through. And then at this point, we can now uh, make a loop and that will prevent the uh, string from uh, coming out of this plastic piece. So now we pull back on the on the string. You will see the uh, the string should go all the way back in there. And then we can already reattach this black plastic piece to our batch holder. Mm -hmm. You can, uh, if you're strong enough, you can do this manually. Just squeeze the uh, metal clip here together. That should be fine. And then the next step is to assemble, reassemble the real housing. So first we're going to wind up all that string that we have here, put it on the reel. And at the same time, when you do this, you also want to consider to already tighten that spring that's inside of there. So we tighten the string by uh, rotating the reel just a little bit, just a couple of turns so that there's uh, some tension on this reel and so that the string will be pulled back into the housing once we uh, pull it out. Mm. Okay. And once we've done that, then we have this little metal piece here that goes right onto the edge of the housing. Let's put that into this position there. And then we put the housing back together just by uh, adding the uh, cover here back on, making sure that this yeah. metal piece doesn't fall out or move by accident. Now we can just squeeze this together. Should, this should uh, hold yeah. itself together automatically. And then we have the the clip here. So we've previously tried to squeeze this back into shape. And then we just kind of feed this over the uh, housing. You see there's also like a little hole in the housing and like a little pin on the clip. And so we align those and then just put this over here. And that was already it. See the our badge holder 
is repaired and we can continue to use it. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. Excellent. Thank you very much for And if you have any more questions or comments, then please leave a message below.